Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at a 3D printer from Flashforge 85X. This printer is fast, like super fast, and it's very affordable, beginner-friendly 3D printer. Oh, and it also does multicolor 3D printing. I'm going to showcase a very quick unboxing and install segment of this video. It is really fast to unbox the printer and also to install it. It didn't take more than 15 minutes. So straight out of the box to fully being able to print, it took me roughly 15 minutes. It would have definitely taken me less if I didn't have to record and move my camera around for different angles. Now, a few things about this particular model. It doesn't come with a camera, but you can purchase it separately. That is what dictates its low cost. The printer itself doesn't have a enclosure, but here's the fun part. You can actually 3D print your own panels, your own doors, your own hinges, everything you need to do to make it a fully assembled piece, you can customize to your own liking. I do like the idea that you're able to customize and buy the things that you need to buy separately instead of buying the whole assembled piece. And now the price is $800, $900. Uh, so it's really nice for you to be able to essentially buy a skeleton of the 3D printer and then fully customized to, to your own liking. I would say the best feature of this printer is the speed. It is a Core XY 3D printer, meaning the print bed doesn't move, but your hot end moves throughout the X and Y axes. The printer does come equipped with 0.4 millimeter nozzle as most printers do nowadays. Um, there is a variety pack that you can buy to change the nozzles. The printer does also come equipped with a functionality where if the power goes out, you can resume your print where it left off. So you don't have to start over. So that's a really nice feature to have. Before I showcase the final results of how the prints turn out to be, um, I want to talk about the features of this printer. It is very easy to load up the filament by essentially loading them in this IFS module. This little gray box right here is responsible for loading your filament and feeding it through your hot end. Uh, let me demonstrate. For now, let me take one of these filaments off so it is as easy as literally rolling it. And to feed it, just push it into one of these tubes. And that's it. Your filament is being loaded up. So I really like how easy it is to load up the filament. Uh, you just push it in and the IFS module does the rest. So let's summarize what makes this printer a good printer. It's fast, has multicolor 3D printing, has auto bed leveling, has the IFS module, which makes it easy to feed the filament, uh, Core XY kinematics, making it a very reliable printer in terms of the print quality and speed. It's customizable, so you can add your own personal touch to it. You can upgrade it bit by bit. You don't have to spend all that money right away. So it's a very affordable unit that offers great quality prints. Let me showcase. Before I showcase all the prints, I just wanted to say a really quick message to Flashforge. A really big thank you goes to them for sending me the printer and the filament. Um, it's a wonderful unit. The filament is lovely. Um, again, a really big thank you. And hopefully the people will like the unit if they do choose to buy it. You can purchase the unit by clicking the link down in the description or the comment section. Note, it is the affiliate link. So I'll be making a little bit of money if you do decide to purchase it via my link. I thank everyone for watching and here's all the prints that I made using 85X. When you buy this printer, Flashforge has included this liquid glue for your print bed. It helps to adhere the first layer to avoid any early problems and helps for the entire print to stay in place. One of the first prints I've done was a preset file that came with the printer. This is a sort of tentacle that holds your headphones in place. This preset file acts as a introductory to multicolor 3D printing. For people who are new to 3D printing, do note that multicolor 3D printing does have to purge filament if multiple colors are found within that specific layer. Depending how many colors the model has, the printer may swap and purge filament up to four times per layer, which increases the overall print time. The quality of the prints, as you're seeing on the screen right now, comes out very smooth. 
This also depends on the type of slicing settings you've chosen, but I am printing most of these models using 0.2 millimeter layer height and using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. As mentioned previously, you can purchase different size nozzles for the printer on Flashforge website. Do note, if you're going to purchase a smaller nozzle, the print time increases dramatically. Flashforge also sent me some sample filament that they sell, and I gotta say, I'm in love with one of these colors. That is the Burnt Titanium. It is a high-speed PLA filament. High-speed PLA allows you to print models that exceed 300 millimeters a second at higher quality than your regular PLA. High-speed PLA is formulated to have rapid cooling and to solidify faster as compared to regular PLA. I chose to print this upgrade for 85X using burnt titanium filament. It is one of my first upgrades for this printer. This is a really good model as it allows you to store your accessories underneath the printer and it doesn't use that much filament to make it. I really like this color, the printer now pretty good. I will leave the link in the description as to where you can download this upgrade. And to finish this video off, here are a few more prints so you can determine if this printer is worth the money. I personally think it is as the price is fairly low as compared to other brands and overall it prints fairly consistently with no visible problems. Once again, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.